Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, ZFG Gaming Channel. Today I will review 89 Second Infamous Suarez. Before I review him, thank you very much guys for watching my last video on Infamous Benzema. I scored many nice goals with him. If you have not watched the video, please watch it where you will see very nice goals scored. As usual, I will compare his previous version to his new version. On the left of the screen, you can see his previous card and on the right of the screen, you can see his 89 rated team of the week second inform card. His 89 rated card is going around 75k on Xbox. We can see his pace is increased by 1, shooting by 1, passing by 2, dribbling by 2, defending by 1 and physical by 1. Apart from his pace and dribbling, the other stats are good, I will go to his pace later. Going to his details, his height is 6 feet, high medium work rate, 3 star skill move and 4 star weak foot. Going to his attribute details, if you want to use him in striker position, you definitely need to use hunter chemistry style, because he definitely needs an improvement in pace. If you want to use him in cam position, then you should use engine chemistry style because that's more suited. Going to traits, he has two traits. The two traits are outside foot shot and solid player. But his finishing stats, I wish he really had the finesse shot trait. With the hunter chemistry style, his acceleration is 85, sprint speed 81, agility 79, balance 81, Reaction 95, ball control 87, dribbling 87, composure 88, positioning 98, finishing 99, shot power 96, long shot 90, volleys 99, penalties 90, vision 88, crossing 84, free kick accuracy 86, short passing 87, long passing 81, curve 90, jumping 71, stamina 80, strength 87 and aggression 89 this is my formation when i start the game so everyone can get full chemistry after minute one i changed the formation to four two three one with suarez up front felix dembele and bale as central attacking mid and dombele and sizoko as central defensive mid and having good line of defenders at the back Please note that I tried Suarez at both positions, central attacking mid and striker position. Ok guys, going to clips now, I played him in division rivals, I played him in both striker and central attacking mid position. So you will see many assists by Suarez in the video clip. For me this card was good at finishing, he's good at finesse shot, chip shot or power shot. Every time. He was in front of opponent goal, I could feel how nervous the opponent was. He will score you goals left, right and center. Having 4 star weak foot is important when you are under pressure to shoot on goal. Passing His passing was good, both short pass and long pass. He assisted the teammates multiple times. Skill moves 3 star skill move is not good for creating angles. You're limited with skill moves or combos. Especially if you want to play him in camp position, you need more than 3 star skill move. If your game style is similar to my game style but performing skill moves to create angles and passing to different teammates, then you definitely need more than 3 star skill move. Acceleration and pace. 75 acceleration and 71 sprint speed was low. I will be honest with you guys, his sprint speed was low. The defenders can easily catch him. I wish he had at least 4 star skill move, then you could get away from defenders by performing skill moves. But now low pace, low sprint speed and only 3 star skill move, it can be difficult to get away from defenders. The pace can be boosted with hunter chemistry style to some extent. Guys, it has to be the perfect true ball for him 
so he can only turn and shoot on goal. He definitely cannot outpace many of the defenders in the game. Attacking work rate. High medium work rate, for me it is the best work rate for striker position. Because he makes a run towards opponent goal when you want him to make the run, he's present on the spot when you want to pass the ball to him, therefore he can make an assist as well as score a goal. With Suarez I notice he's touching the last line of defenders shoulders more often. Once again I wish he had greater pace. Stamina. 80 stamina was low if you play him in central attacking mid position. Dribbling. His dribbling and agility were questionable. I did not prefer his agility and this affects his dribbling. Height. 6 feet high. He can definitely win headers for you. Aggression. His aggression was very very high. He always fights for the ball. How? Also, his strength was good as well, so he cannot be bullied easily. Position. I prefer to play him in camp position or central forward position. You can play him in striker position, but please make sure to have another fast paced striker next to him. Use formations with two strikers up front. Lengths. His links are brilliant, you can link him with icons, La Liga players and other good players. You can make a very good hybrid team. As usual guys, I included the goals he scored, the assists he made and the goals he missed. So you guys have better understanding of the card. Thank you very much guys for watching the video. Please continue to watch, leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye bye.